former president of Temple Bethel in Charlotte says that he made a mistake, one that he will not make again. Today, Evan Wilkoff made a plea deal with prosecutors that includes no jail time, but he must register as a sex offender for the next 30 years. Queen City News reporter Will Lewis is live at the Mecklenburg County Courthouse. And Will, you learned the defense trying to get that 30-year registration reduced. Yeah, that's right. They sure did, Morgan. And that's just because of Wilcoff's age. You see, today is his 56th birthday, and they were trying to reduce that time. But a judge denied that request, meaning that Evan Wilcoff will be on a registered sex offender list for the next 30 years, meaning no contact with minors except for his future grandchildren. After pleading guilty to felony third-degree sexual exploitation of a minor, Evan Wilkoff ran from our crew into another government building and disappeared. The former president of Temple Beth L accepted the plea agreement after being arrested in November of 2020 on six counts of child pornography. Some of the children listed in the warrants were between the ages of five and seven years old. Prosecutors say when police searched Wilcoff's computer, there were search terms on it, including infant pornography and pedophilia. The searches were also conducted on traditional websites and the dark web, a prosecutor told the judge. Police looked at two computers and found 16 videos, 510 images, and one file titled 10-year-old Latin girl that was opened on 10 separate occasions. Prosecutors say more charges were not filed because the ages of the people in the files could not be established, meaning someone could have been of age but looked young enough to be a minor. The attorney for Evan Wilcoff says this all took place in 2020, and while many were dealing with stressful times of the pandemic, it's not an excuse for this mistake. Wilcoff viewed the files and then deleted them, and his attorney says Wilcoff helped many in the community, but wouldn't mention his synagogue connection. The attorney also noted the Wilcoff's reputation is ruined. The judge accepted the plea agreement. A sentence of 5 to 15 months in jail was suspended. Evan Wilcoff will serve 24 months of supervised probation. He must register as a sex offender for the next 30 years. Wilcoff is also to have no contact with minors except future grandchildren with the approval of the parent and another adult present. Now, the defense did make one more request of the judge, and that was to let Wilcoff be around other minor children in his family because they say they have big family gatherings for the holidays. Now, the prosecution objected to that, so the judge didn't grant that request either. We're live in Uptown. Will Lewis, Queen City News.